591. That's him there, Phelps. Hit the siren. LAPD, we're investigating a murder. What's that got to do with me? The fair you picked up from Baron's bar last night. What was the woman wearing? It was a green dress. Oh, don't tell me something's happened to her. Tell me about her. She was with this sailor, and he was all over her. She wasn't having any of it. Said she just wanted to dance. But he had that look in his eye. Where did you drop them off? It's at the Crystal Ballroom. What time? Uh, after midnight. 12.30? Something like that. Thanks. You've been a big help. Well, that's gonna ruin my day. All units also needs help. 415 and shots fired. 313 Bunker Hill Avenue. 313 Bunker Hill Avenue. Unit to handle code 3 identify. You're behind the wheel. You know the way. You can drive. He's in an interview, too. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. <laughs> Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup, so it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. You went to Baron's bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look. I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. Where did you go after the Crystal Ballroom? Well, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab, and I caught a bus back to the base. We spoke to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the Crystal Ballroom. I'd had enough. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She, she looked old. Left around closing, maybe 1.30. Got on a bus and she fell asleep on my shoulder. Which bus? An all-American, 249. I went past her place. She jumped off and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. The Indiana's down there. She's being scrapped. And that was the last you saw of Teresa? Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. The cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's not how I'd put it. So the last thing you wanted was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah, it did. She knew what a guy's looking for, all broads do. Dancing comes second. And what happened at the Crystal Ballroom? Nothing. Not even a little hand relief. 
She had another couple of drinks. There was no fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CEO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. What now? Drive all the way to San Pedro and check his locker? Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Three suspects in the can and one on the hook. And still no hard evidence on any of them. KGPL to car 11K, 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Patrolman reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. 11K, roger that. Plenty of time to get downtown. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, we have Lars Carrollson picked up. Thank you, ma'am. You have a safe trip now. Where are you boys headed today? LAPD. We're after the driver of All-American 249. Would have been around midnight onwards last night. Uh, just a minute. Frank Zeffirelli. He's your man. Where can we find him? Frank is out on the 7-4. Can you tell us the route? Hang on. Uh, I'm... Should have it mapped out here somewhere. I'll need to run the loop. Uh, we're not going to drive the whole thing, are we? Won't take long. We have a siren. All American seven four, let's go get it. This could be a long trip, Cole. Or it could be a short one. And here's me without my hip flask and only a pain in the ass for company. Way to kick off the drive in high spirits, Rusty. Comments like that put me in just the right mood for some legwork. Tachi. You know what your problem is? You don't like hard work. This kind of rigorous search is what police work is all about. Discipline. Save it, Phelps. You're just as bored as I am.
Ralph, still no sign of him. Did you doze off, Rusty? I think you slept through my solving the case. Yeah, very funny. Just give me a nudge for scene, right? How about you nudge me? I think that's a job for your wife. Oh, Rusty. How long is this bus route? It actually covers an area around the size of Central Division. The probability is we'll find it about halfway around. Bad luck says we'll be chasing it all night. the bus we're looking for. Ease in behind her and get her to the side of the road. There's some kind of problem, buddy? LAPD. We're investigating a murder. You had a sailor and a woman in a green dress on your bus late last night? That's correct. And the woman got off first, around 2 a.m.? Yeah, that's right. And the sailor stayed on all the way to downtown. Can you tell us where you let the woman off? On California Street. To tell you the truth, she looked a little lost, like she got off on the wrong stop or something. I didn't like dropping her off near that hobo camp. You've been a big help, Mr. Zeffirelli. So Sailor Boy escaped by the seat of his bell-bottom trousers and left the broad alive. Left her by the hobo camp. Which means he's as good as killed her. We can't eliminate any of them, but the disfigured man should be our starting point. I'm gonna call for some backup. These bows hate cops. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. No, if you think we ought to, man, I guess we ought. for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. The evening is day for the seven. We need to hold out. How do we do that? Like this. Oh. 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 